welcome to another pick a card reading as mentioned in the title today's reading is going to cover your september month predictions what's going to happen in terms of your career any specific life changes or any messages from the universe your angels that you should know about so anyway um as always i have three piles for you to choose from the first one consists of this green stone mm -hmm. the second one is this white opaque stone I don't know why, but I just love this stone. It calms me. And the third stone is this green and white one. So take as long as you like to choose the stone that calls to you the most. Or you can choose by pile, which is um, pile one, pile two, pile three. And once you've chosen the stone or the pile that calls to you the most, scroll down to the description where timestamps will be provided to each, each pile or each stone that you're uh, attracted to and to the corresponding stone and it'll take you directly to that reading. Anyway, I'll get started with pile one. So if you guys chose this green stone or the first stone, then this is going to be your reading of what's happening for you in September. So um, the breakdown of this reading is going to consist of first looking at some oracle cards to get any theme or message for this month followed by your tarot cards that will give us a clearer idea of like what's shifting what's happening what you should know about whether it's to do with your career or your relationship or even both and then we'll just end the reading with some guidance so the first one we have is potential this gorgeous volcano erupting in the background i have to say something the second card is health I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So anyway, what I was saying, you know what, maybe I should just finish looking at these cards. And the third one is conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. I don't think there is an eclipse in September though. But if there is one, I will look it up while editing and I will add it as a note somewhere. Anyway, so um, what I was saying is while shuffling the cards for your pile um i got a very happy you know things are coming to an end or things are getting resolved kind of energy so that is just something i wanted to impart and it's also like something you should know and i just the thing is i've watched many september prediction videos myself because i also would like to know what is happening in september and i think there's a universal feeling that you know um old cycles or old things that we that have been bothering you are like completing and it's like this phase that we're entering into that is like a transformative phase you know i feel like september is going to be the last of like when we are old self and then you know some point in the middle or towards the end we'll shed that old skin and move on towards the last quarter of like 2022 as like a new person somebody we want to carry forward in um 2023 so that was just something that i got the feeling of that while shuffling so i just thought i should say and it's also the feeling i got watching all the other september month prediction videos so anyway coming to potential um i think that's pretty self-explanatory in the sense that um i feel like in september you're gonna get an idea of like what you're capable of what you can bring to this world what your capabilities are what your dreams are and how you can like execute them or put them into action and not just that i feel like it's going to have an erupting effect on you um i do have to say that if you guys are doing some kind of social media or something this could mean like you might say, whatever ideas you get in september and the way you executed through reels or through youtube videos some of you might have like an eruption of like followers or something or views or like you all might have a viral moment over there um so i feel that is that but i feel like this is a lot of this is a lot to do with you know understanding your own capabilities and knowing your own successes and knowing what you're good at and how you can put that to good use in the world or like further your career or further your dreams then when it comes to health, um, I feel like although this is green and it reminds me of the heart chakra, 
uh, and it says I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul I feel like many of you guys are gonna get very health conscious or like you know start taking effort in like maintaining a good health balance in September um, I also have to say that because September is when monsoon eases out where I am at you guys may spend a more lot more lot more lot more time in nature like you know with green uh, surrounded by greenery and all some of you guys might travel to like a nice place or a retreat or something that rejuvenates you but i feel like maybe many of you who like have been indoors because of the monsoon or because you've been feeling lazy or sluggish or whatever you all may start stepping out like going to parks going for walks going for jogs you know maybe doing outdoor yoga or something like that but yeah, besides that, I also feel like there's going to be really good attention paid to what is going in your stomach. And that in turn is going to like create a good blood flow or something. And that is going to make your heart really happy. Also, um, when it comes to like this potential and this eruption, I also get the feeling that many of you guys may have like a glow up. In September, so if you've been feeling dull or looking dull, you know, um, in the past few months or in this whole year, maybe because like, you know, things have not worked out, maybe you're not happy with your job, you're not happy with your love life or your social circle or something like that. I feel like with the transformation that we spoke about before or like you getting a new perspective or like you leaving your old self behind, I feel like many of you guys are going to have like a physical transformation as well like maybe because you're eating healthy and also you start to look better maybe because you're exercising you feel better plus your body is better but i feel exercises also makes us feel more confident and like brings that glow back to our face so i feel like something like that is gonna happen but either way you're gonna feel very worthy and you're gonna value your body and your looks and how you feel a lot in september mm -hmm. Like that's what I'm seeing over here. Coming to conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse. Uh, that's what I feel like with this card. It also gives me the feeling that if you guys have been going through some kind of a sticky situation where, you know, um, a certain issue has not been able to get resolved so far, I feel like in September you will see a solution. And it's something that is very probable and possible. Also with the green card and health, I feel like because I don't know whether it's because, you know, you, you are like paying attention to yourself and you're feeling better and, you know, you're exercising, you're going to get a lot of mental peace, like your mental health is going to be in a good place. And because your mental health is in a good place, you can see these solutions and see like there's a way out or there's a good way to like amend things or like resolve these problems or issues or whatever it is you're facing or because like you know everything happens because of divine timing if a problem was not meant to be solved two years ago it was only meant to be solved this year in september then probably like you know the solving of this problem is going to give you a lot of mental peace but whatever it is it's going to be very visible to you. It's going to come to you. And because of like the amount of ease that I'm seeing, in a way, I feel like from idea to like execution to like conclusion, it's going to happen very easily for you. Even if it doesn't get concluded in September itself, because that's where you just like, you see the conclusion, um, it will begin in September at least. So yeah, that is the part I have, but we're going to get more clarity looking at your tarot cards because that will like tell us more in depth of like what is happening for you in September. So the first card we have is seven of pentacles. The second card we have is the knight of wands. The third card we have is the devil. The fourth card we have is Queen of Pentacles. And the last card is Six of Swords. I love this because this is like, like I told you, you know, um, it's not transformation itself, but it basically means like moving to a better place. And because of the swords, I always feel like, you know, mentally, 
you're becoming a new person in your mind maybe you've not moving and movement does not involve geographical distance but like if you were in like point a in your mind by the end of september you're going to be at like point z or at least somewhere towards the end of like a bad thing moving towards something better you know um maybe not physically maybe some of you movement is actually like physically moving to another place or another area or another house or something but you know i feel like you will be in a much better more confident and happy space so anyway looking at your cards um i feel like for you guys september is going to be a month where it's going to start out with a lot of like re-evaluation redoing things making necessary changes finding you know um different paths or different ways of going about doing something and because of pentacles i feel like a lot of this has to do with like something to do with like your earthly means so like something to do maybe with your career or your home life or your education or even like your health since you know we have health here but i feel like you're going to start out reevaluating something trying to figure out where you can do better what changes you can make and then like you know sketching out a new path or a new way of doing something so if like you know um for example supposing you're in a family business of selling dry fruits okay and for generations they've always done it the same way but in your generation unfortunately a pandemic hit okay then there was like demonetization there is recession there's all that shit that's happening so those old methods while they may have brought in, brought your family a good amount of wealth and good customers and stuff for your dry fruit business in your in your generation maybe like that doesn't work after like you've had so many of these hits you know so it's like and and it's like because you inherited it there's like this pressure on you to perform and do as well as your dad and your granddad and the the dad of your granddad or something like that so it's like but you're like these old methods are failing me they are not working out anymore i have to adapt to like 2022 methods so um you evaluate you make new plans maybe you go online maybe you start social media for your dry fruits maybe you know you offer commissions to people who can sell it maybe you do local things maybe you advertise in newspapers or whatever but you know um it's like reevaluating and going back and making new plans and reassessing things and like finding new solutions but i have to say that once the solution does come to your mind you will charge with it with full force like you know um you'll go right ahead and you'll have a lot of confidence and you'll have a lot of enthusiasm to go at this this reevaluation or this new path that you've paved for yourself when it comes to your life and your career or like your money or something or your education but i have to warn you that while it may seem like a great idea which it is it's important to not let it go to your head you know like not become proud about it because we have the devil which is like you know addictions and pride and like thinking no end of themselves and being always power hungry and stuff and then we have the knight of wands which is like you know setting fires without thinking so i it's more of like a advice and a warning than a prediction but if people disagree with you try and deal with that with as much um dignity as much peace as you can instead of like you know shouting and proving your point and always being the loud and the aggressive one basically so there is that that you have to keep in mind the devil i have to also warn you could be somebody who may not be like the maybe like your biggest well wisher especially when it comes to like you know you coming up with like this new idea and stuff you know and you wanting to go in that direction and doing so with so much enthusiasm like they may be somebody who makes you question everything they are the people who make you doubt yourself this could also happen to do with your own mind but since i feel like your mental health is going to be pretty good this month or your health i feel like this could be an external person 
you know who discourages you who derails you puts you off track so be wary of them you know and also the devil is capricorn energy so if that's an indication like maybe the person could be a capricorn who i'm talking about but just staying so or maybe somebody you met in capricorn season it's just a hint i mean take it if it applies otherwise just dismiss it and then with queen of pentacles um number one I, whatever this is it's going to bring you good amount of success uh your home and domestic life is going to be good so like you know if like you need somebody to support you or like I think like your family or your immediate family is going to be very proud of you and happy for you for like taking this new path or doing these new things and I think you'll just have a good domestic life but also the queen of pentacles is somebody who has everything proper. Mhm. Mm so like I said don't do things in haste and don't like light fires where it's unnecessary. Um I would say that because you're taking so much time and taking so much effort to reassess things the queen of pentacles also somebody with like very good health but also somebody who helps help helps each other with like you know um earthly comforts so i would say that supposing you know you have to get something done or something and instead of bribing with money maybe you will be imparting many gifts or something to get your way and it's going to have a successful outcome also the queen of pentacles is somebody who's pretty well set in life so i feel like your finances will be like good in september maybe it's the outcome of this or maybe your i finances in general are going to be good but nothing bad is happening but i also have to say that while they seem good and all of that um with the card that's next door i have to warn you that it's important that however well you're doing um don't spend it like living a lavish life or something because this is an indication of like moving away from a certain mindset or a certain place even if it's not a physical place it could be like a mental place towards a better so this basically means passage to a better phase of your life so in order to buy yourself this passage i feel the monetary planning is important so yeah do well for your home provide for your wife and kids or your husband and kids or whatever or just yourself or your parents or whatever it is you're doing it for but keep aside because at the end of the month you're going to have like this shift you're going to transform into this person and maybe saving some money is going to help tide you over i mean i'm not forcing anything bad happening because you're moving to a better phase of your life which is like something really cool but you know it's just she's not somebody while she lives well and has everything proper and has a nice house and everything i don't peg her as such as a spendthrift you know um so just basically that but basically at the end of the month while you started with reassessing and all of that by the end of this month you will be proud of yourself you would have like learned so much and this reassessment and taking this new path is actually going to move you to a better phase of your life so i have to say that september is when you know all old cycles old problems old things come to resolution a lot of shit is going to get wound up and it's going to free you to like embark upon the next chapter of your life which is what i'm seeing so anyway uh, we're going to look at like these messages now so any messages that you should know about we have key which is successful outcome to your problems which i feel has to do with like this card conclusions are within reach then the next one is okay turn to someone to just show both we have wish bone which is a wish is granted so yay if you be manifesting something that's going to be granted but if you've been if just your hard work and doing taking the effort is going to really help you reach your success if you've actually been thinking geographically of moving something then maybe september is when you will move like I didn't mention it but this could actually also mean like moving overseas because this person is rowing their boat. So it's like maybe you're crossing a large water body like moving countries or something. If you're planning to go for like education or something then 
it may happen in September. It could also mean moving homes or moving areas. But yeah, it could basically mean physical movement as well. And whatever place you're going to, is it's going to be good for you. It's going to be really successful. And it's going to start a whole new chapter in your life, a better one than what your current chapter is. We have Eagle, which is triumph over troubles, obstacles, which is nice. I think this also, a lot of your month has to do with some, some shit coming to finding some resolution or conclusion to some problem that has been like haunting you or weighing on you for quite some time. And then the last one is bird flying. News is on the way. So if you've been like waiting for some news, September is probably, not probably, I'm confident, is when you like your back. And now we're going to look at the last three cards. So this is just basically um, what you can do to take care of yourself during tougher moments in September. So we have make an, make an altar which with number 16. So um, one is the number of new beginnings. Six is the number of balance and unconditional love and partnerships but i think mostly it's balance and unconditional love so i feel like a lot of this unconditional love is going to do with you and number one like i said end of the month a new chapter for you but make an alter what it basically means like with the imagery if you've been like manifesting or something or you just like to meditate or something, make a corner or a little desk in your room or some space, maybe in your office, where you put things that help you heal. Like there's a candle here. I don't know what this is. It's a statue. This is a vase with flowers. So make a little part or a little corner of your home or your office where, you know, it's like your space. It's where you can go to to rejuvenate yourself and start feeling better about yourself. And the second one is we have big happy changes. Basically, um, when I pull these cards, I don't always necessarily um, have anything in mind because for me, these cards speak for themselves. Sometimes they tune in with the reading. Sometimes they have messages unto themselves. And many times they're just answers to questions you may have had in the duration of this reading. So this could be either of those so we have big happy changes which according to me does tune in with the reading because something is coming to conclusion a wish is being granted a problem is being solved your money and finances are not going to be bad plus at the end of the month you're moving to a better passage to a better phase of your life so a lot of good things are going to happen this month a lot of good changes are going to happen and like Change is not always the easiest thing, but once you overcome that, it's going to be really good for you. And now the last part of this reading, this last card is basically just guidance from the universe, what you should do to feel better or just guidance to help you get through this month. So we have um, forgiveness. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. Okay, so basically, I'm starting to understand this whole reading now with this last card in a way. Maybe this whole thing has to do with like letting go of something or forgiving something. And once you forgive that and you're not carried forward with the burden of it, it opens yourself up to so many new things. I feel, feel like for many of you guys, this reassessment is like going back to figure out a way to forgive whatever this is and because you forgive it kind of solves a lot of your problems and it's like you know you're free of that shit now you know um that's what i'm feeling so it's going to be a month of like letting go shedding your old old life or your old thoughts or your old grudges and moving on into this new chapter you know um Whatever this is, I don't feel like you're going to take it forward. So it's like supposing your friend did you dirty or something. Um, you'll forgive them, but obviously you'll not have them come back in your life in the same way they were before. You will maintain like your distance and you will guard diligently against them. Or this is just anybody who didn't do you good, like maybe even a business partner. 
you know, with the devil card who like try to, to cheat you or to cheat your company or something. But to move on from that is to forget, to forgive and to forget. And that's how you're going to move on from it. And that's how you're going to get this fresh start. And it's going to feel a, like a really good start. But obviously, um, this could just be a card unto itself. And it could just mean like, um, in general, you're going to be in a very forgiving mood in September. And you're going to let go of a lot of old nonsense that has been weighing you down otherwise. So, yes. Those are all the messages I have for you, Pile 1. I hope it resonated with you. I hope it made sense to you. I hope it brought you some clarity of what is happening for you in September. If it did, in fact, do any of the above, please do give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment with what resonated, what didn't. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so every time I post, you'll be notified. And finally, um... Share this with those who you think it may help because that would really help me. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Hi, so if you guys chose the second stone or the white stone, this one. Then this is going to be your reading of what is happening for you in September. So the basic breakdown of this reading is we're going to first get an idea or the theme of this month through your oracle cards. Then we're going to move on to more specific and in-depth messages or like what is happening with you through your tarot. And then we're going to end up in the reading with some guidance and advice basically or just anything extra you should know about. So the first card we have is pleasure. The second card we have is courage with the message. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay. I love the intricacy of this design though. And then we have um, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. Okay, so um, right away I have to say, I said this even for pile one, but when I was shuffling, I got a very calming and happy feeling when it came to September. Um, I got the feeling that a lot of old cycles or old issues are going to draw to a close this month are going to reach some kind of a resolution or conclusion this a similar card like this came in for pile one like some conclusion is within reach or something like that but basically i feel like september being like the last month in the third quarter of 2022 it's going to like wind up a lot of stuff, a lot of shit that you've been carrying on for a really long time. Maybe even from 2021. You know, issues that have started and stuff are not fine, not even resolved yet. Like a lot of stuff I feel is going to shut and like September is going to be the transformative month. Wherein old things are going to like shut and be done. And a new version of you is going to emerge and step into a new chapter of your life. So... This obviously talks about the ending of something, but these two cards obviously indicate to me the start of a new chapter. So I'm going to go by them one by one. So we have pleasure. So um, obviously September is when you're going to feel really happy, upbeat, on top of the world kind of a feeling. Also because like the imagery of this card, like there are these steps and they're going upwards. Um towards this archway or gate or something towards something beautiful um i feel like maybe many of you guys will be very spiritually connected in september um you know maybe you will like have a very good connection with the divine in september i also get the feeling that maybe some of you may be getting a promotion and moving up in your jobs or like you know in going towards your dream project or achieving some kind of a professional milestone that puts you above what you were before but basically it's like a archway or a gateway towards something better you know like a new start or a new chapter or a new passage of your life but you're moving up somewhere this could also mean like coming in alignment with your own self with your higher self and becoming the version of you that you always wanted to be or the person or the version of you that you were destined to be and September is like when you're going to come on course for that. Um, the next card is courage. I think this is pretty self-explanatory in the sense that September is when you're going to be very courageous. 
maybe uh, maybe even you know take some risk and it's going to pay off because we see pleasure um but basically i feel like september is when you're going to be bold you're going to be brave i feel like you're going to speak your mind without mincing words but also without like creating conflict or creating fights or being aggressive but just stating things ma- matter of fact you know that's that's the feeling i get for september and that's the feeling i get through the word courage it could also mean that you know you're facing something that you've been putting off for some time and looking at it with a certain sense of courage or dealing with it with a certain sense of courage and finding your inner strength to face your fear with confidence and doing so because like you have the will power and you have the strength and you have the confidence this month but we'll get more clarity on this when we look at your tarot cards i feel and this card like i spoke about at the beginning a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer so um i'm going to look up if there's a full moon in cancer in september although i don't think there is one but um if there isn't i'm going to look up full moon in cancer anyway and see like which is the closest one or the furthest one and maybe that is when something started or maybe like reaching the resolution will begin in september but happen during the full moon in cancer but i feel like it's going to happen it's going to like nip away in september itself but also yeah courage i feel like maybe this issue you've been putting it off for a while because you didn't know how to confront it and you didn't know how to and in order to resolve it you have to confront it you have to get at it head on you can't like just um sweep it under the mat and like leave it for another day so i feel like september is when you may come back and confront this with courage and confidence and that's how you manage to resolve it and it and the resolution is in your favor because like we have pleasure so whatever the outcome you're going to be happy so don't be afraid now we're going to look at your tarot cards to get more clarity and insight on like what is happening for you in september so we have the king of pentacles pentacles and since it's come under pleasure and we spoke about a promotion so you guys may be um you guys are hitting that promotion in september or hitting some kind of a professional milestone or maybe like moving to like many times you you want to be transferred within your own company to like a city or a country of your choice so maybe you're having that transfer and you're moving towards something else or towards something that is like something you dreamed of then we have chariot which again talks about movement and also the chariot is cancer we have cancer here so cancer could be a very important sign in this pile either you are cancerian or somebody you know could be a cancer and it doesn't just apply to your sun sign but also to like your a moon sign and your rising sign so and then we have three of cups okay then we have three of swords a lot of threes expansion and growth and then we have two of wands okay um i'm starting to get some sense and some clarity on this now so basically what i'm seeing is that um i have two interpretations the first one is you're going to get a promotion and i feel like that promotion is going to involve you to move or like you know it's just it's going to get give you the flexibility to live the life of your dreams so um for example supposing you know um you've been struggling and struggling and struggling at your career or something for like many years and like your friends and your family or, pe- or peers of your age have like with the same education or the same background have managed to like bargain a better salary or like do better in their careers than you then i feel like maybe this is the year things change for you in that sense in september mhm and it it moves you it gives you the chance to like live the life of your dreams because the chariot basically talks about taking charge of like your own life and going in the direction of your choosing how you want to do things how you want to live um how you want to go it also means like maintaining flexibility 
because sometimes when you take these detours on these journeys sometimes the detour where the destination of this detour could be far superior than the destination you had in mind before but yes it is good to have an end goal and i feel like once you are able to like get in control of your life because you've got like this promotion and you've got the money you need to live the life you want or to move to the place you want you will be able to like um cultivate society or like cultivate a community or you know integrate yourself into a community and make those friends and family that you probably didn't have before and even like look at the future maybe even you know um look at partnerships for your career or even for life because the two of wands basically it actually indicates partnerships in creativity and career and being able to like you know of uh, come in tune with each other's talents and build something great together and you because like you know this person is standing on this archway safe and secure from like the rest of the world and also at a height and this also is like a height i feel like maybe many of you guys could be moving up like geographically on the map but also um i feel like it will give you all this ability to like stand high and look at the world instead of like with a with a sense instead of like feeling daunting about like how am i going to overcome all of this you're looking at it like how can i conquer all of this how can i explore all of this the world is my oyster i can do anything and that's like you know planning and with this partnership like maybe somebody with a similar or even a contradictory talent could actually prove to be a really successful partnership with you and together you'll make plans of like expanding your business exploring new territories going the distance and like you know stuff like that basically is what i'm seeing mhm mm but it it's a very good feeling like i think many of you guys are getting the chance to live the life of your dreams you know um and it also gives me the feeling that in case you know you guys had old wounds or old grudges or you guys were like lacking self confidence or you all were hurt you know that's something that's going to heal as well in this in this month you know but we do have two three so i feel like a lot of expansion so if this is a business you're looking at um september is when your journey towards expanding is going to begin mhm mm but yeah um i also feel like many of you guys could be really just traveling like going to place a and place b because now you have to funds or you have your company backing you or something to do it the second interpretation i had was that maybe some of you guys are like actually you know um no i'm i still want to finish talking about the first interpretation so it could mean like moving to like a new place and like starting a new life and a new family and integrating yourself into a new community and stuff so basically making another place your home and that place was something I feel like for many of you it was like a dream at one point. Like I don't even know if it's possible but you all just didn't stop dreaming about it. And now it's like becoming a reality because you all can afford it. Mhm. Mm uh the second interpretation I had was that maybe some of you who have been away now have the ability to come back home to your own place. travel back home and integrate yourself into your community and um i feel like face something that happened in the past something that has hurt you in the past and with the help and support of like your community doing things with family and having the support you know you'll be able to heal that and like look at the world with a new perspective for many of you guys i feel like maybe this is an old relationship that you know that is healing like for example supposing um you live in like new york okay and your family resides in london and um when you were in london you were dating some guy or something and the guy broke your heart and like because you couldn't stand being there you asked for a transfer and you went to like london or something you went to new york or something and you lived there for many years and you didn't want to come back home because you knew that at some point because he's part of your local community you would bu bump into him and that's not something you had the strength to bear with so for many years you avoided coming home but now for example your sister or 
your best friend who lives back at home is getting married and you have to go back to be with her and be part of the community so this time when you go because like you have this confidence because you're doing well maybe you have the funds or whatever you go back home and you do bump into this person and you do confront them you know you do tell them that you hurt me badly and they are also there at the wedding with maybe their new partner or something and you're like but instead of feeling that much pain you're like you're okay with it because you have like the support of your family and your friends and your community i also see that maybe this is a month where you'll be spending a lot of time with like people who you trust and you feel secure around and anyway that will in turn help you heal this old wound and you will be able to like look at life with a fresh perspective so you've not dated ever since this guy or this person broke your heart and you've not gone home but now not only have you gone home and confronted this and healed from it but now you're even open to like dating new people and exploring new opportunities and exploring new facets of life and that's what i get through this card mm -hmm. but another interpretation i could also say um, for some of you is that uh, this is a small one but maybe september is when you may meet somebody within your community mm -hmm. uh, and maybe you will go through a little bit of heartbreak uh, but you'll bounce back because i see the two of wands so um you may meet somebody you may go on multiple dates in september you may start liking that person but later on you'll realize that that person was just you were just an option for them and that breaks your heart but then you'll be like it's fine you know i can find another partner or something or you know you'll bounce back because i don't see unhappiness as such except for like this but also like 90% of my intuition is saying that this is something of the past that you're going to heal so anyway that's and you're going to heal it with the help of like all these people and this promotion or this this confidence that you're getting or the fact that you feel on top of the world anyway we're going to now look at your messages your tea leaf cards to get any extra messages from the universe so we have archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up oh my god so we have like literally two archways here there is the archway which is like this and there is this archway so definitely you guys are like either leveling up in your career like getting a promotion hitting a milestone in your own company or like joining the company of your dreams or something but definitely and this is going to be a transition into a new phase of your life you're passing through this pathway to go to a better place you're leaving the old place behind and you're going to something magical and because like it has this fantasy and magical element to it i feel like this is something you've only dreamed of maybe even as a child but now it's coming true and you can barely believe it but it's happening i'm really happy for you pile 2 then we have teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex so like i said you know maybe build a new community but make some really good friends and that's going to help you heal this crap maybe this heartbreak is not even a partner it could be a friendship but you're getting through it then we have hand in need of help assistance and guidance which again this is when your community comes into play also the chariot is going to help you go through this Oh, uh, pathway. So it's definitely gonna. You're gonna know when it happens. You're gonna feel it. And then we have broom, new home, new attitude. Oh my God! So like I said, some of you could actually be moving, going to a new place, or going back to your old home, which feels like a new home now because you've not been home in so long. But also because after going there, you've been able to heal a lot of old wounds. So it feels kind of like. a new home or maybe many of you guys are, re are like redoing your old homes or something because like you'll have the money now to do it but i feel more or less it's about like moving to a new place a new country a new area a new locality or something like that mhm mm 
and now we are going to look at the last section of this reading which is basically advice and guidance so this card is going to just it's a self-help self-care card it's just going to advise you on what you can do during tougher moments uh, in this month so the first one we have is watch a movie with number 54 so 5 and 4 adds up to 9 and that is the month of September ironically so I feel like a lot of this stuff has to do with um divine timing and has to do with the end of a karmic cycle like you've paid your dues and now you're getting to like live the good life i don't know if this if i should say this but basically i'm but um do some of you have saturn in the second house or something like that because um saturn in the second house is about karma actually saturn the planet is about paying your karma or like saturn in the 11th house or something because 11th house has to do with your career but um i feel more strongly towards second because i feel like a lot of stuff opening up for you which otherwise i felt was shut or was difficult uh, or was delayed better said and now it's like maybe you guys have like finished saturn has finished his karma on you and now you can live the life you want like you're free of it now like you finish that karmic cycle and you're on to a new one so that's how you're getting this promotion you're getting this glue up you're getting this money you're getting this community you're getting this healing you're getting this possibility to explore more which also in a way means more traveling and you're getting to move up you know and i i get the feeling that this is something you've wanted or you've dreamed of for a really really long time and now you're getting it so that's why i just thought maybe saturn is in your second house if it is please do comment below anyway so five and four which adds up to nine which is the number of september since it's the ninth month so a lot of this has to do with divine timing but watch a movie pretty self-explanatory when you're tired or you're low or you just want to be alone, cuddle up in bed with your pet or just otherwise with a warm blanket and watch a movie of your choice. It's personally my favorite thing to do. But since I shoot at night, I can't always do it. But basically, do it if you want to. So this card, basically, I don't always keep something in mind when I pull this card because many times um, these Ask Your Angel cards... Um, tune in with the reading on the message we've had so far sometimes they have a message unto themselves and sometimes they pose as a answer to a question you may have had during the duration of this reading so i'm going to just take it for what it is so we have um in the near future so if you've been asking a question about something especially uh, a timing or a timeline then the answer is in the near future mm -hmm. And now the last card for this reading, this is just basically guidance by the divine on like how to conduct yourself or go about or like you can use this advice during difficult situations. So we have patience. If you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for you for now? Help me relax and trust every need will be met. Often change soon follows so i think what it's saying is just be patient and surrender and whatever problem you're stuck with will eventually pan out and here we have this card which says personal issue reaches resolution so i definitely feel some shit that was weighing on you for a really long time because you have been patient is going to reach a resolution this month good for you pile too i'm really happy i really like how it's panning out for you especially like the rest of your life so anyway those are all the messages i have for you pile too i hope it made you happy i hope it uh resonated with you i hope it gave you some semblance of clarity what is happening in april in september and i just hope it like makes you feel happy and hopeful and if it did do any of the above, then please do consider liking this video, giving it a thumbs up, uh, commenting with what resonated, what didn't. Also commenting if, you know, Saturn is in your second house or in whatever house it is. Or any other comment you want to leave if it resonated or didn't. Um, 
subscribing to my channel because that would really help me and sharing this with those who you think it may help and i'll see you in my next video bye bye hi so if you choose the third stone this um green and white one then this is going to be your reading um i have to say that when i was uh, moving the stone and i was placing it it had this um shivery shaky effect so um if you resonate with that i guess it would make sense but what i have to say is um the first thing that came to my mind was um actually a couple of things that um in case you have been dealing with some kind of anxiety that gives you like you know some nervousness that makes you very anxious that makes you shake in anxiety then i think september is when you know um it will start to like you'll start to feel more still or more confident also um the other thing i associate with shiveriness is um the five of pentacles which is the uh dark night of the soul like if you have had poor health or you've been through a lot of financial difficulties then i think september is when things are going to ease out or things are going to get better also this is a feeling i got overall when i was doing the readings even of the previous two piles that september feels like the end of some kind of a cycle some kind of karmic cycle and september is like the passage way being like the last quarter like the last month in the third quarter before the final quarter of 2022 begins um i just feel like september is going to be the month where you know your transformations happen where old chapters shut old things wind down and it prepares you to start something new and it's also gives me the feeling of shedding old skin and starting a fresh like stepping into the next chapter of your life so i feel like even if the cards don't say it um i feel like a lot of changes and transformations are going to happen this month a lot of good ones because that's the feeling i was getting so anyway um to give you a quick breakdown of this reading the first part would be these oracle cards that just give us the theme or the gist of what is happening this month then we're going to get more clarity through your tarot cards and then we're going to end the reading with extra messages guidance and advice from divine your angels or just god or the universe so we have trust when can you see how calm and nice it is like it's a beach and there are these palm trees then we have um success wow so some people are really um coming into success this month what is the message on this i know that there is no greater goal than love but i also feel like this could be financial success even maybe um relationship success but whatever this also reminds me of the wheel of fortune so maybe this is when things are supposed to turn for you and then we have take time to breathe out disseminating disseminating moon okay so um when i think about breathing out i feel like maybe some burden is being lifted off of you which is how you can like let out this deep thankful rested sigh like okay i can finally breathe now i can let in good oxygen i can i can live you know um maybe something was weighing on your chest for a really long time and now it's like that weight is being lifted or it's like melting away and you can breathe and also um with this trust i feel a lot of i sense a lot of stillness so and even with the stone i feel like if you've been shaking or moving or you know you've not had much stability before um i think september is when you know things are going to calm a lot and you'll start to feel that stability that calmness that stillness of like not moving so much but still finding a lot of success and still feeling like you're like you're healing internally externally and i get the feeling that maybe like you know um you've been trying to manifest this and maybe in the past your manifestations have not been successful so you have not been able to trust the universe the way you do but because now in september it's happening your trust or your ability to believe that things are going to be okay or have trust in yourself and have more confidence in yourself is going to really um show itself in september it's going to come to the surface 
you know and you're going to really start trusting whether it's like trusting the universe or yourself or your decisions or your ability to think and navigate your own life since you know we have a little boat also but basically or all but basically your ability to like stop being so anxious and having so much of self doubt like the trembling stone that is going to stop or go away or resolve itself in september and that i feel in turn is going to help you move towards your success i also feel that maybe um because you have been trying to manifest something and in september it comes true because you've experienced this level of success even if it's a small success or a big success because you've experienced some semblance of success it's going to reinforce your your trust in the universe or trust in yourself like you know actually the decisions i make for myself are far superior than the decisions other people make for me and that's how it's going to reinstate and reinforce your ability to trust yourself or your ability to trust in the universe especially like the way when things just pan out and i feel in your case like things are going to just pan out if you just relax and in september you're going to get that chance to relax mm -hmm. like your ability to trust that things will be okay will be heightened in september mm -hmm. now we're going to look at your um and yeah because like you know you have the success and you can trust and i can see how calm everything is you can breathe out for the first time in your life you can exhale and you can you can you can relax and you can like you know slump your shoulders instead of keeping them erect and upright at all times you can be calm and you can be rested and you can relax also maybe some of you may be taking a holiday in september maybe going to a beach or something like with palm trees or like looking up at the sky or being near nature or water of some kind but i feel like maybe some of you may go to the beach anyway now we'll get a more in depth understanding of what is happening for you in september through your tarot cards so the first one we have is eight of wands okay then we have three of wands a lot of wands energy fire energy then we have four of pentacles then we have ten of wands so more fire and now we have the empress to end your reading which is so wonderful sorry about the noise that was my dog she just got up from her bed shook and now maybe she's like gone back to sleep in it so anyway what i see for you guys happening in september is that i feel like if you have been planning something or you've been wanting to share something you know um i feel in sub by september your planning phase will come to an end and you would have like taken that first step at like sharing your thing or like putting your idea out across um you know putting setting things in motion and like now you can't take it back so like for sup supposing for example you guys decided to um start a youtube channel or something or like put something on social media once you post it i mean you can delete the post but once you've put it out between the time of you putting out and then realizing you want to delete it people have already seen it so you know um even if you delete it some people may remember it or something so it's like once you've put your things out you've set your intentions in motion and you've um put your things out there's not much you can take back and like now it's like the period of like wait and watch i feel like this is something that started maybe in august itself and in september like to in the beginning like um maybe in august you started to strategize for how you want to do things in your business or in your life and in september like you know you started to put out the intentions or putting out your posts or something in august but in september it's like you're still putting it out but in september it's like um it gets more eyeballs because august was it's like nascent stage but now you're one month into it so like more people are seeing it and it's like instead of keeping it just within your own community of your friend circle 
it's getting much more recognition or something mm -hmm. so like you know even though you've put your intentions out there and it's like a waiting game it's like now wait and watch will you have success will you not um what is going to be next i feel like you are going to have success because we have the success card and we also have the three of wands and we have the empress and i feel like your success um it's going to be really good like if you wanted to like get that viral video or something it's going to happen i feel like lots of people are going to see your things because this is the card of expansion but it's also of like putting your things out there in the world for people to see for people to judge and for people to like resonate with or understand so i feel in september like some kind of recognition is going to shine on you and that in turn is going to lead to a lot of success mm -hmm. that is going to give you like supposing you have been churning out videos for a really long time on your youtube channel but you despite that you've not gained a good following or something but in august you decided or even july or something that i need to do things a little differently i need to switch up my video ideas i need to put content that people actually like watching and then you start that process in july or august or something and in september one of those videos the new ones even though they're getting more views than your previous one one happens to go viral it gives you that recognition and it makes you get monetized and then it's like your wheel of fortune is turning and it's turning and it's turning and it's gaining momentum and it's gaining momentum and you're getting more and more success and maybe not just in september but like once you start once you get monetized on youtube that success continues as long as you keep uploading videos it builds up right eventually you'll get a good following you'll hit that 100000 mark you'll get the plaque you'll get sponsorships you'll get paid more by youtube etc so it builds up but september is when it starts when you start to feel the success beginning at least for you and maybe like you had this job and you would come back home from your job and you would like have to work on your youtube channel separately like you know it would take away from your sleeping hours or something and you would be working till late hours in the night to like do it but now it's paying off and now like the burden of juggling two jobs or something or maybe like you know you even got monetized like a while ago but you were not making as much money as you needed to like quit that job and do this full time but now because of the success and i feel this is something to do with creativity anyway so to do with this because like you've achieved the success in this you can like quit that job and you can take that rest you need or go on that holiday you deserve because you like got that success your video went viral now suddenly you're gaining like instead of just having 1000 and 1500 uh, followers and getting like earning pennies through youtube now you've suddenly gained like 30000 followers or 50000 followers so now you're getting paid also more your cpr is more uh, people are contacting you for sponsorships so you're getting paid through that your instagram has exploded so it's like you can charge even to post on instagram so it's like you're earning these multiple streams and though you've not like made your million just yet but you're on the track to making it so you feel that okay at least i've got this now i can quit my job i can breathe i don't have to like sleep only 4 hours in a night i can sleep the whole night because now i can shoot in the day time i can take that vacation i need because i can get time off from this job because i quit so basically that's what i'm feeling like you know um you like some huge burden that was weighing you down will like get off your back because of like the success i also see that um the four of pentacles it means like you know this has a serious game so like you know because you saw like this sliver of success with this one viral video it's not slowing you down i mean you know this is something that could give you serious money and wealth so it's like you know you're you're getting into it with a lot of enthusiasm and you're like you're planning your things you're doing things very meticulously but also i have to say the four of pentacles gives me the feeling that 
like how she's clutching onto these coins so it's like just because you've come into this money or you've got this success doesn't mean that you're going to like lavishly spend or go on a lavish vacation maybe this is just a small vacation to a nearby beach or something because you just wanted a change in the atmosphere so <laughs> Even though we have the Empress, I don't feel like, you know, you're going to like extravagantly blow off all that money. I feel like it's going to, you're going to hold on to it and save it and save it and save it to create a better foundation for yourself for the future. So tomorrow, maybe when you have substantial savings, now that you've quit your job, you can even quit the area or the housing society you're living in and maybe move into a better place or get your own place or invest in better equipment or something. Once you've accumulated a good amount of money and you have enough to like pay your rent, pay your bills, buy your food, maybe travel once in a while. So, you know, it's like you're being careful with your money. Mm -hmm. So even though you hit success, like I told you, just because you had one vi video going viral, you saw the potential of it and you make many more videos. But it doesn't mean that because your video went viral, you went from zero to like one million dollars in one month. It's something that builds up over time. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's doing. It's helping you reduce this burden. It's helping you build up your savings or the money you always wanted. But at least it's a start. Mm -hmm. But with these and this, I definitely with the amount of fire energy and passion, I feel like this is to do with something creative. So yeah, maybe a YouTube channel, maybe uh, becoming an artist. Maybe, you know, um, singing, like maybe you got signed by a record label or something. Or I don't know, just it's something creative. Because, and, and it's got a lot of passion. So even though back in the day when you had to do this over and above your work hours, you gave it your best because it, you were so passionate about it. But like I said at the beginning of this video, 10 means the end of a cycle completion and the 10 of ones especially means like you know breathing out letting go of old burdens letting old things die letting you know go of things that no longer serve you like look at how this guy is like carrying this heavy weight so that is going to reduce i definitely feel like maybe some of you guys have gone through a five of pentacles phase like where you've had like a lot of financial hardship and maybe not being able to take a holiday or something for a really long time. And that's made you lose trust. Like maybe you've tried and failed, tried and failed. And hence your trust has been lost. But now with this one success, it's reinstated. It's reinforced itself. You've taken that vacation. You can feel the calm. You're no longer shaking with anxiety or with cold or just shivering. And you are successful. And most importantly, something is off your chest. And you can breathe out. And I love how this has come below this. Because this is basically where you can't breathe. And this is where you can breathe out. And since we have Empress next to this. Empress is like success, fertility. Somebody who's beautiful. Somebody who's blown up. Somebody who's very grandiose. Somebody who does things in a very nice way. Somebody who's fertile. Somebody who has good plans. So... Even like I said, even though you've not made your 1 million in one month, you set yourself up to make a lot more in the future, like your future goals and fertility and the chance and ability to really, truly grow mm -hmm. as like a person. And even in your career, um, this also tells me that if some, if you or anybody, you know, has been struggling with a pregnancy, maybe in September they would get pregnant. Mm hmm. But also I have to say that September is when you start looking good also. Maybe because of the success, maybe you got the money to be able to afford like good creams and stuff. But I feel it will and the fact that you've started to trust and the fact that some burdens have gone off your chest, I think you'll just sleep better at night. And because you sleep better at night, you look refreshed. And because like you no longer have to work two jobs, you can take the adequate rest you want. So I think... By the end of September, the way you looked at the beginning and the way you looked at the end will be very different. Like you probably will like have started looking like a whole different person. Rested, happy, cheerful, beautiful. Maybe you will even take interest in the way you dress. Maybe you couldn't like 
always buy all the clothes or the nice clothes you wanted but now you can but not a lot but still to look good and feel good and the empress is basically fertility success grandeur so whatever this is it's only going to become grander and grander and grander and better and she is the doorway for that so yeah you felt your success maybe some point in the middle or you know towards the beginning of the month and then you didn't become lax because of it you worked hard and hard and you know um took advantage of the momentum and ride it the and rid the way of success so it paved more success for you so even though you're tired by the end of the month you'll be looking much more happy and cheerful and you know enthusiastic to take on the rest of the year or the rest of your life in this new direction mhm mm now we'll explore your tea leaf cards for any additional messages so we have august so maybe like i said this is something maybe you started in august and since this is eighth and this is fire this does remind me of august then we have lily spiritual love so a lot of love you're going to feel a lot of love i feel a lot of it is going to be self love but also maybe a lot of it would have to do with your spirituality then we have gavel involvement with the law okay um so maybe some of you guys have been putting a lot of time effort and money in a court case like maybe maybe like you know you were deprived of your inheritance or somebody will something to you like a distant relative or maybe something that was in your family was wrongfully taken away from you and for many years you have been fighting a legal battle like you know doing your job earning your money spending on your house and your family and yet having to spend on legal fees and it's become a lot and maybe there have been instances where you had to decide whether i have to pay my lawyer or whether i can eat dinner and and like maybe in august you decided to change your course of action in court and you set that in motion like you actually gave an application and stuff and the result was successful i definitely feel success because involvement with law and success so whatever this is it's going to come in your favor in september or it's going to come to a close and maybe because you won this you can feel like you can breathe out maybe for the first time in your life you can take time away from court and go on a holiday because before that you always had to be available to attend these court dates you know so it could also be that and then now this is heart love deep affection and caring i think again this is to do with you a lot of self love a lot of affection towards yourself a lot of caring towards yourself being gentle and loving towards yourself because now you can actually afford to do it because you have the finances but also you have the mind space and you have the ability to trust so yeah maybe in the past you know you've lost orders and stuff and you've lost faith in the system or you've lost faith in god or you lost faith you lost faith in the universe but now you're getting it back with the success so now this last section is going to be just guidance so the first card is what you what you can do during tougher times in this month what you can do to take care of yourself so we have be still with number 4 4 is the number of stability so like i said you guys are going to get a lot of stability then you had before i think i said that at the beginning of this reading with the shaking stone example so no longer shivering no longer being out on a cold winter's night that's over you're stepping into a new phase of your life you're going to be stable you're going to find stability security and trust but yeah in moments where you know you feel anxious or anything like how this woman is just lying on a mat so so will you you'll just lie on a mat and feel still and let the universe absorb your anxiety and your problems and just visualize the life and the world you want um this card doesn't always necessarily um i don't pay take it thinking of like what i'm going to use it for because these ask your angel cards always either they tune in with your reading they uh, have a message unto themselves or it could be an answer to a question you may have had in the duration of this reading so i'm going to just take it for what it is so we have oh wow we have success again so 
success is a short for you whatever it is whether it's a court case whether it's your social media your own business or something you're going to find your success it's a short for you in september at least it's the beginning and like i said this reminds me of the wheel of fortune so once it starts to turn and turn it's going to gain momentum and go faster and faster and faster and you're going to feel that abundance pouring in or that success pouring in and also the eight of wands is a very fast moving energy so whatever it is the effect of it in september is going to be fast and now the last card of this reading is just basically guidance from the universe what you can do to just be better be a better version of yourself this month or it can be advice and guidance when you're in, when you're stuck in a situation so we have change don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps all you need is that one next action you can say to love just show me the first step and change me into who can take it so like i said once you set in motion there's no taking it back you have to be ready for the change and change is coming especially since it is under the success card which looks like the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune means change change in your fortune change in your tide and it's coming and it's coming good and it's good for you it's going to transform your life and put you onto the path of your destiny of success of where you need to be of where you always wanted to be so be ready for change and don't fear it anyway pile Three. Those are all the messages I had for you. I hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you clarity. If it did do any of the above, please do like this video, comment with what resonated, share it with those who it may help, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.